Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, first of all, I would like to thank the IPU and the Parliament of the Kingdom of Spain for hosting the 143rd Assembly. I again thank you for providing an opportunity to speak at uh, this assembly under the given then. It has been 30 years since Mongolia chose parliamentary democracy. During these 30 years, we had traveled over a long way with some obstacles, but at the same time, we have gained the confidence to persevere in our chosen path and have gained considerable experiences. Parliamentary democracy is a classic example of handing over the reins of governance to the people and is the best solution for building a truly civil society. Today, I would like to share my country's experience in ensuring public participation in parliamentary activities, which is one of the challenges of modern democracy. Article 3 of Modern Constitution of Mongolia, adopted in 1992 with the desire to ensure the objective and effective participation of citizens in parliamentary activities, states that all powers of the government of Mongolia shall be wasted in the people. The people of Mongolia have the right to participate directly in the affairs of the state and to exercise this right through the elected representative bodies. Therefore, we have enshrined the principles in the law on the state creatural parliament of Mongolia, the law on procedure of the state creatural, the law on public hearings, the law on laws, law on information transparency and the right to information and in other related laws to ensure this constitutional right of our citizens. However, the results of uh, some research show that this is not enough to increase citizens' participation in legislative and decision-making process of parliament by the following three reasons. First, there is a lack of procedures to ensure the right to public participation enshrined in law. Second, there is a lack in effectively pressure officials through accountability, as it was unclear what responsibilities would be imposed on officials for non-compliance with the law on citizens' participation. Third, different platforms for public participation have not been developed, and at the same time, there is a lack of public awareness of, about the uses of existing platforms. Therefore, the Parliament of Mongolia approved the law on deliberative referendums and in 2019. The Constitution of Mongolia was amended and the relevant laws were amended accordingly. But now, in order to effectively implement the provisions of these laws, we are focusing on ways to effectively involve citizens in the work of Parliament. For example, an electronic platform such as www.lawmaker.parliament.mn for lawmakers, lawforum.parliament.mn for citizens, and the public to vote on draft laws and an e-petition system for receiving citizens' requests have been introduced. However, the most important measure we have taken is the proposal of law and oversight duty of the state great oral parliament of Mongolia to ensure that the public has the opportunity to participate directly in state affairs through the elected representative bodies and that it will lead to real positive result. These drought laws details the procedures norms for ensuring realistic public participation in Parliament 
and the effectiveness of participation while establish accountability mechanisms to make it mandatory leverage. With the adoption of this law, the Parliament not only produces and forgets laws, but also has a real mechanism for effective citizen participation in parliamentary policy making, decision making, and legislative activity. With special control over the implementation of the adopted laws, a comprehensive citizen participation system will be in a place to ensure that officials who do not operate the mechanism are to be held accountable. Thank you for the paid attention. Thank you very much, Mongolia.